I'm back with a Friday Sews. Hello, hello, and welcome to Friday Sews. Um, I'm Deb from Sewing Seams with Deb, and you're very welcome to the channel, whether you're returning or whether you're new. And uh, I love... Um, I love being with you and yarning and gas bagging about life, about sewing, about what's been going on and all the different things. So um, hang about because at the end, I'm going to have yet another announcement about our Sew April Denim 2024. We've got some new developments if you haven't heard. Very exciting. So Friday says we talk about what I'm wearing. Uh, so this is a patina blouse, uh, Friday Pattern Company, which I made um, at the end of last uh, winter, I think. Or, yeah, beginning, yeah, end of last winter-ish. So it's a patina blouse that I made at the end of last winter, and I made it out of a men's shirt. Now, I have spoken about this already. I put little ruffles on it. Tiny, weeny, weeny, weeny ruffles. Wow, talk about a little gathering. And just the collar. Um, the shirt itself already had this cool red ribbon. It was on the underside of the button, so I just switched the buttons over. And I've recently just shortened it because it was way too long. And um, so you can't see it, but I've just got it on with a, a pair of linen trousers. So that's what I'm wearing. And I love it. <laughs> I love this pattern. I love Friday patterns. Um, Friday Pattern Company's patterns. Um so this is the first one I've had and the block seems to fit me really well. I'm very happy with it. So now what have I been making? That's what I've been making. One moment, please. I'll just get it down. So last time um, I saw you on a Friday, so I spoke about this pattern because um, I, I'd i made a blue one. Now I've made a red one. <laughs> it's the um, Pattern Emporium Yours Truly Flounce tank or flounce hem tank now it seems to fit me really well i didn't take a photo because it's the same fit as last time and i've got a, a very pretty flounce at the bottom i was using some um, leftover double brush poly so this is going to be really um, great for um, trans seasonal and i did a little ruffle hem i think it's it's actually a rolled hem on the overlocker but it turned out very ruffled a lettuce hem i think we used to call them so it looks very pretty and flowy and um so i think i'll get a lot of wear out of that even if i just wear it to yoga it will be a great um uh something that i'll reach for i think now i've done a um chanel neckline and i've spoken about this before so it's the self um cut um binding and I maybe if you're interested I can do a demonstration on that so it doesn't it's not I didn't follow the instructions on the book in the um, pattern I decided that I would do the Chanel because I just think it looks um I like the look whatever it looks like and I've got this um my self tag I don't like the scratchy um at times so I also made my grandson a t-shirt out of this he's a bit um skin sensitive he's got rashes and things so he just loves the double brush poly he's almost rolls his eyes when he feels it and he was here the other day so i made him a t-shirt it was too short i made him the uh pattern 7100 it's an oldie but a goodie by nitwit i've spoken about this before i've um i've made this before for him very old school looking photos. It's a basic tee, but in those days, they, I don't know. Um, anyway, I was going to say in those days they made them short. They didn't. I think he's just a bit um, longer in the body than um, I anticipated. Anyway, I ended up cutting it. I didn't take photos, sorry. I ended up cutting it and just under the armholes and put a piece of four inches wide right around it. So he's got a red T-shirt with a bit of purple just around the um, chest. Loves it. He thinks it's his soccer shirt. So I'll make him another one and that'll be a winner. 
Yay. Now getting in the theme of the the So Autumn Denim 2024, I've been making a couple of things. This is unfinished. So I've chopped up uh, a pair of jeans that fit me very comfortably at the waist and they're go it's going to be a skirt. Now you can see I've still got it pinned clearly um, and I'm putting a piece in the front and a piece in the back. I'm not doing a split because I want it a little bit more A-line. Can you believe I don't even have a denim skirt, a straight denim skirt. I've got one that has got um, pleats on it, but it's getting a bit tight in the stomach. Um, so I thought I'll make one for those times when I need a bit more room around the tummy. And uh, it's going to be... It's going to be good. It'll be versatile, I think. It'll be really good for boots uh, in winter, wearing with boots and a jumper over the top. And um, then you can hide the multitude of sins that I've got in there. So I've just got to sew that up. Those jeans are Colorado. Who remembers Colorado jeans? That company closed down um, ages ago now. It feels like 10 years ago. Whatever it was, it's ages ago. Um but they were really good jeans and I come across these at a second hand shop ages ago. Um, so I got a, um, that's the brand. And um, so whether I might swap the pockets out yet, I don't mind the pockets. They're not really big enough for modern day phones. <laughs> um, but if I do, I'll try and find some pockets that are the same color denim as this. You remember, um, uh, in a previous video, I spoke about um, the denim that's in style this year, this season, and how it's two-toned. When you're in the store, you can actually buy a skirt like this. That's what gave me the idea. Yay! I've also been squirreling away making a new bag. Um, one moment, I'll just get my old one. It's pretty cruddy. It's not old, old, but it's very well worn. It's just a little um, crossbody and these are attachable, detachable strap that I got off another old bag because uh, I'm very into upcycling. So this bag um, has oh, it's still got a lipstick in it. That's handy. Oh, and a lip gloss. Oh, and a hanky. Um, uh, but it's lined with, and I always put more pockets in it than I need. And my keys fit in that section. But what I'm finding is just a little bit too small. I've got a different phone. My phone has uh, been upgraded. So it's great. And it's getting a little bit tired looking. around. It's getting a bit bashed about. So a bit shabby. So I needed to replace it. So I've made this one. So once again, out of some um, denim. And I, um, I will link... The, um, the name of the YouTuber who I um, followed to uh, make this pattern. It's actually, I made a note. It's, I've just got to find the note. Got to find the note. Um, the crossbody bag is by Aya Heart Crafting. I'll put it across the screen. Plus I'll put the link in the notes for you to go to. Very good um, explanation. It's not as big as I thought it would. I've got my wallet in it, which is about the same size as my phone. And I've um, lined it with, some of you might recognise, I've made a, uh, a blouse out of that. Um, and I put a pocket in. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. After I put this pocket in... Um, I was watching the video uh, in a minute after that and she put a pocket in that was a self pocket, a denim pocket, which actually would have been better because your phone would sit in there and it wouldn't... Because what happens with linings inside bags, if you've just got fabric lining, this is a little tip for you, if you've got fabric lining, whatever's in there seems to flop forward. So I've tried... This will be fine for my, like, sunnies. All my other glasses when I swap them out because I spend half my life swapping glasses. This pair, that pair. You've got glasses everywhere, man. Um, it'll be good for that. But when you put something heavy like a mobile phone there, it flops forward. 
if I had been paying attention and I could have put the uh, denim pocket uh, in there, it would have been more stable. Anyway, I didn't. So if and when I make another one, I will do that next time. Uh, also, one more thing that I did not do is I didn't put a little magnet on there. So I've yet to decide how to do that. Um, the, the girl that was, I didn't say a name, the girl that was doing the video, she hand sewed one on, but I've never seen hand sewn um, magnet bag magnets before. I've got some bag man, magnets, but but you have to do them ahead of time, way before the end. And she did it at the end. Anyway, long story. Anyway, so um, it's just the middle part of the, I think that's like the side part, inside part of a pair of jeans, which I had spare on front and back. And this is some other a denim skirt I had a hundred years ago. And this is from that as well. The eye, and that's just from another pair of jeans. So I've got lots of bits of um, denim here, there, and everywhere that I've been chopping up for years now. And no, I don't never throw it out because just tiny pieces you need. And a self a self strap which is pieced together. It's got a bit of that denim, a bit of that denim, a bit of that denim. Doesn't matter. Anyway, it fits, and it. Um, quite stylish i think and it's it's going to be good for every day so i'm very pleased with that so nice one plans 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 right it's so april blouse 2024 and the lovely ruan from the yorkshire so girl and gabrielle from um cloth edit here in australia they're the hosts of this um, challenge, which is for April this year. And I like to participate and I love blouses. Um, and so I have been hunting through all my blouse patterns and um, figuring out what I want to do. I've also got a little bit of a pile of fabric here, which is my favourite. Um, I got this last year in the box, a special House of G box from Gabrielle at the Cloth Edit. And oh, it's just divine. You know when when you've got very, very special... Who does this? When you've got very special fabric, um, you're too scared to use it. So I want something very... Um, special so I still haven't decided will I make a dress I've got two meters will I make a dress or will I make a blouse because I feel like if I make a blouse you only need a meter and a half mostly um, then there'll be some left over and then that's like, what am I going to do with the rest so I'm still in two minds about that so um, see what you think can you vote for me can you tell me it will it be a blouse or a dress for this? What do you think? Anyway, um, put your comments in the description. Plus, I might put a voting button out there. Um, it's just lovely. And I mean, I've spoken about it before, of course, when I bought it. It was ages ago, a year ago. So I definitely want to make this up. And um, just what pattern. So that's one option. Um... Friday Pattern Company Patina Blouse. Uh, it's now a favourite. Here's another nice blouse pattern. V9285. Look at those beautiful sleeves. Um, now, <laughs> glasses. Um, loose fitting top. Has a back loop and eye closure. So it's probably quite simple. Um, fabrics. Four ply crepe. Taffeta organza suitable for obvious diagonals. Now I've got some um, crepe, so that might be for that. I'll put that over there with that. Um, this is an old blouse, 6085. I've had this pattern for years. It's plain, but sometimes a plain shirt is lovely, isn't it? I mean, this is plain with, with the feature collar. So there's, this line drawing has, there's lots of options here. 
so yeah um 6085 and it's an old older pattern i've got to try and see how old it is yeah 1999 uh fabric suggestions are cotton lightweight denim uh so i could make a denim shirt out of that that'd be nice um a broadcloth so quite heavy fabrics for that one and here's another blouse this is nice it's got pin tucks on it um so it's a butterick 3525 it's paid for <laughs> i paid for it uh a dollar <laughs> uh very nice i love this one here at the bottom sorry that one there isn't that pretty so the fabric suggestions lightweight poplin lightweight linen lightweight denim and shirting fabric so but i feel like lightweight poplin would be lovely for that bottom one it's got a really lovely edging on it so that's if i want to stay with the shirts i've actually got another shirt pattern as well so it's the pattern emporium all in easy fit shirt pattern i haven't made that one yet i've not made any of these except the patina um so i've got choices i'm also very excited because i've recently got or purchased the emma blouse by let me get this right atelier dupe uh the emma blouse and it is beautiful i've been drooling over this pattern for more than a year and i finally decided that's it i'm gonna i'm gonna buy it and i'm going to make that as part of so april blouse 2024 so undecided what fabric i've only just started to print it out haven't stuck it together um and haven't done a toile or anything so it is a beautiful pattern um and when i looked on instagram from last year's makes at the time um lots of people were making it last year and yeah i loved it and remember making a mental note i must get that pattern for so april blouse next year so yeah it's finally here maybe i'll make the emma blouse out of this what do you think be nice so typical me um there's that many choices i can't decide and um yeah if i if i just pick one and run with it i would be more than happy with that <laughs> um so watch this space and um we should see how we get to uh where we get to with that just imagine a pair of jeans men's jeans that are buttoned down and they start off like that right that's the jeans and the buttoning buttonings there there's the buttons turn it upside down and there's my vest now i'm not, not sure if i've shown you this if i have it's ages ago um so what i did when i made this years ago i wear it a lot it's really really good to wear um the pockets have been taken off the back and put up the other way and put them on the front now these are those lovely big pockets that a mobile phone does fit into with keys with your wallet everything fits in them or your purse um so i want to make another one of these because this this is great but it's a bit limiting because it's red gotta have a doily on it um the reason i feel it's limiting is oh look i'll wear red with anything anyway if i'm wearing pink or if i'm wearing green doesn't matter i'll wear red so um but it is long so i want to make one i make one with the same idea with the upside down men's jeans and but a bit shorter so it's sort of to here i don't want to chop this one up because i really like it so i think a bit shorter would look good with jeans because this one when i'm wearing jeans it actually looks too long and you can't see i like to be able to see the back of your jeans so i want to make another one um what do you think i made this up I think I made, I think I might have seen a video or something 
Look, I'm, I'm at least 10 years ago. It's a long, long time ago. Um, so, wouldn't you know it, I've got some patterns. So, it's just a pattern for uh, a vest. Good old Simplicity 9285. I don't know if I used this as the guideline when I made this vest or not. I don't remember. It's that long ago and I didn't make notes. But that's a very basic woman's vest. Vests are in, um, but not big long ones like this. I also found these years ago, these two patterns. Just Jeans, it's called. Hold on. Just Jeans. And that's the same idea of the upside down, but they've made it into a whole denim jacket. That's another idea to do. These were just at a second-hand shop, these um, patterns. They were very cheap, as I recall. And there's another junk jeans one. Um, this is vests. Oh, yeah, this is more vests using old jeans. So that's a nice idea, too. So this is what I'll be making. And wait one moment. I found some nice men's jeans. The reason I choose men's jeans is because around my middle, you need it. Um, we all need it bigger than our actual middle because, remember, that's going to go upside down. So if you get a rather large pair of jeans, as large as you can, I don't know if these are going to be large enough. But I love the, um, the, the, what do you call that when it's all um, jagged looking? Um, I like the look of the fabric of the jeans, of the denim, and I love the fact that it's got all this on it. I've got these at a secondhand shop. So it's got some lovely features that I want to include. It doesn't have the button down, but that's fine. I can work on that. It's got lovely big pockets. They won't be used anymore, but these will. These will come off, and I'll put them at the front so I can use them. Um, stressed. That's what they're called. Stressed jeans. So I love the look of them. Um, the stressed look of all this, which I, I think it would have been um, not necessarily from wearing. And I think that might be an um, expensive brand. I've never heard of it. Have you heard of that brand? I've never heard of it. Um, I tried them on. I thought, oh, these might be nice jeans for me. But no, 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 no. Nah. They're no good. But I reckon they're going to be a great upside down something. What do you think? Will that look nice? Now, speaking of denim, our So Autumn Denim 2024 challenge has grown legs <laughs> uh, mentioned last week uh, that uh, the lovely um, Kristen from the Dahlia Society has uh, is donating a couple of prizes the bespoke box for June some lucky person's going to win that how awesome and plus a voucher for $50 now both of the prizes and if we end up with more prizes they will all be selected randomly There'll be no judgment involved. We're not going to say this one's better than that one or, you know, this person's put in five so they win something. No, no, no. We will just be randomly selecting them by that magical selector. We've got to work out how to do that, but we'll get there. Um, so very exciting um, to have those people on board. More exciting news as well to add this week. We've got a sponsor, another sponsor, that who is providing a discount code of 24%. How good is that? And the 24% off is for a purchase of denim from their store. And the name of the shop is, and I'll put it across the screen, the name of the store is Weft and Warp. Now there, this business is located in um, the Australian Capital Territory. So um, I don't know that it's Canberra. But, um, but it, yeah, it's, it's fantastic to have, um, you know, another state represented. So we've got Victoria and ACT at the moment. And, of course, we have South Australia with Hayley from the Hay Meadow. Um, we've got Deb from DB Designs and Sewing Australia. And um, 
Katrina from Create Something Pretty is both of those girls are from or ladies are from Victoria and myself uh, from Western Australia. So we're very, very excited to have um, more people on board and the sponsors, both the Dahlia Society and Wefton Warp with the um, discount code. So um, I encourage you to get on board to just make some plans. What would you like to make? Do you want to make bags? Um, do you want to make upside down jeans as, um, uh, you know, like a vest or a jacket, um, a pair, a, a skirt uh, out of a pair of jeans? So the choices are endless. We'd love to see all that you make or anything that you feel like making. You know, you might want to make a pot holder. It doesn't have to be a lot. And stick it on Instagram. By, uh, on the 31st of May and I will put all the hashtags that are required to tag on Instagram or in the description box and any of the others, um, other vloggers will all be uh, having it in our, um, in our information as well. So at any time you can just check that out. So love to see what you what you're going to end up making and also what you're making along the way work in progress let's show that i might put that skirt as a work in progress what do you think um because i haven't finished it so um yeah i we would love to have you involved we're building community we um are, are loving just all being together um virtually we're loving um, being involved with with something that is um, a bit outside our own sort of comfort zone. So we are learning on the hop, you might say. Uh, you build it as you fly it, which is what we're doing. I think we're building the aeroplane as we're flying it. Um, and so that, that adds a little bit more excitement to it. And if you like a good gas bag and just a, a yarn about um, talking about things, uh, yeah, you're in the right place. <laughs> because it's all about um, chit-chatting and enjoying uh, company while you're sewing and that's that's part of what my idea is for my channel is to just build community to hang out to chat to have fun and uh, enjoy each other so have a fabulous week happy sewing stay well and I shall see you next time <laughs> bye